In this video, I'm going to explain the uh, symmetry command uh, that is in conjunction with the enclosure. Also, you can use a symmetry command uh, without enclosure to make the geometry into the half. Okay. Uh, but definitely uh, we use symmetry command basically to reduce the, our computational cost by solving the only half or maybe quarter model. And uh, the question may arise is that we do have the option of symmetry in the case of the enclosure command that is number of planes. So uh, there are the few things here. Number one is that you can use the principal planes which are x, y, y, z and z, x. Secondly, you cannot use the two planes which are parallel to each other. Means that you cannot uh, cut the body at the two parts, at the two locations which are parallel to each other. So for example, uh, if I think this body should be uh, have the half cut from here. Okay. But also I want to reduce the geometry from here. So I want to make another plane here and I want to cut it from here as well. Sometimes we require this thing. Not uh, uh, generally speaking, but sometimes we do require this, require this thing. In that case, uh, the number of planes command in the enclosure will not work. So that's why we will have to uh, use the symmetry command. So now you have to see that how many things we have in the symmetry command. So we have the number one number of planes and they can be the number of planes we can choose from here. And then and also we can use the multiple symmetry command. So there is if there's some limitation on number of planes, so you can use the multiple symmetry commands uh, to get your uh, objective. So let's say we we choose a symmetry plane one as x5 plane or any plane we want to create and the model type is a partial model. So basically partial and full model, there are two options here. So with a full model, what will happen is that uh, it will give you the one half and with a full model and with a partial model, it will give you second half. So if this is a symmetry plane and half is here and half is here. So with the full model, you might get this side and with the partial model, you will get the this side of the geometry. So in both cases, the one in the one case, the geometry is on the on the one side, second case geometry is on the other side. And uh, this uh, option that is uh, now target body, you know very well what is the target body. So in this case, this is the uh, ML body over here. Now uh, export symmetry. So export symmetry is basically is about the uh, symmetry bound recognition. So, so if you are if you don't want to work on creating name selection yourself, then this will export the symmetry plane on that location. But let's say I just use the, uh, the symmetry command to reduce the height of this uh, uh, domain. So in that case, I don't need to export the symmetry because I don't need to be applying the symmetry over here. So I can define my own boundary condition by name selection. So that's why I might choose and usually I would be doing this thing is that I will choose the no. Okay. So now uh, go back to the uh, design modeler. So here we have the same thing as the uh, ML body. So we have used already we used the enclosure command. And uh, now I want to make the symmetry command here. So from the tools menu symmetry command and uh, how many you can use the planes. These are three planes as maximum. So let's say I want to use the one plane and that symmetry plane is the this one which is the ZX plane. So ZX plane and uh, I don't want to export the boundary condition for symmetry and click on generate. Okay. Okay. Now let's say that we can use the two uh, planes here and uh, we can create the ground from using the second symmetry plane. So that is going to be the XY plane. All right, and generate. Now let's say that the height of the domain uh, for some reference paper is not this much. This is some reduced height. So in that case, I'm going to create the one plane and I will use that plane to reduce the height using symmetry command. Okay, are you getting my point? So I'm going to create the one plane that is parallel to the XY plane. Okay, so a new plane here. 
and uh, then I want to move this plane in the Z direction, transform the plane. And uh, that is going to be around, let's say, 1.5 meters. So see where this appears. No, this is not good. So let's say 1.2. So maybe you can use the 1.1. So this plane would be here. So I, I want to reduce the length of uh, height of domain from here to here. So now click on generate. So this plane has been created and uh, I will use the uh, another symmetry command and please keep in mind that in the one symmetry plane you cannot use the or in the enclosure command you cannot use the two planes which are parallel to each other. This will give you the error. So I cannot use the same symmetry command and even if I want to use this symmetry command if it allows me then the plane should be before the symmetry command in the tree outline. Okay. So anyhow, I'm going to create another symmetry command and uh, this time I have, I have the number of planes are equal to one and I will choose the plane number four and first I will keep the export symmetry as enabled. So click on generate. So you can see that the upper half part is upper part, not the half part, but upper part above the plane is now selected for the geometry export. So how this can be corrected? This will be corrected by choosing the model type from full to the partial. Sometimes you have to see that the which option is working for your case. Partial model or the full model. Okay. And now click on generate. So one minute. Okay, so selected bodies, okay, make it selected body is going to be the this body, okay, so let's try with the full model. Okay, now uh, I think we can try with the plan number four and uh, here uh, fill up the x, y axis. So fill up normal z, x. Okay. Okay. This should work. Okay. So now this is pointing downward and now click on generate. So this has solved the problem. So if this is not working, the full model is not working. In that case, you can use the, the, uh, you can, you can reverse the normal axis, which is z axis here. And this should work. Okay. And uh, now I, I want to show you that what will happen if I export the symmetry. So generate and uh, create the meshing app. So basically you will see the name selections in the meshing that the name of the boundary condition on the boundaries. Okay. So you will see that uh, we will have the that symmetry condition over here. This symmetry condition because this was created on the plane number four with a symmetry two. And here we didn't export the symmetry. Otherwise we'll also have the same another symmetry condition over there. So let me show you. This is the symmetry plane on the top. Okay. And the open domain is the remaining part with three boundaries here. Although they, these should be uh, exported as if I change the name, uh, the enclosure command and uh, I don't want to export enclosure. Okay. And click on generate. And if you go to the meshing app, right click here and update geometry, you will see that we don't have any open boundary condition now. Okay. And if I go back and edit symmetry two, and I don't want to export any symmetry, click on generate. And uh, now if you check the boundary conditions here by right clicking on the again model and update geometry from source, you will not see any boundary condition here. Okay. So now you have to create all the boundary conditions by yourself. Okay. One more thing is that when you are exporting this geometry, so you have to suppress the ML body from here. Otherwise this will also be exported. So 
again update okay so now we have the only we have the boundary here and nothing else is here okay Okay, so uh, uh, I, I hope that I, I have clarified the uh, use of symmetry command and especially the options inside the like the partial model, uh, full model and uh, we can also use other planes we can create from the principal planes. And uh, the symmetry command sometimes uh, give you the only the upper portion uh, which is not required for simulation. In that case, either you can use the partial model or full model and if it does not work, then you can uh, reverse the normal of the that particular plane. So here we reverse the z-axis from top to bottom. 